You want to smile. You want to be happy. You got a lot to be thankful for. But you watch some of the faces around you every day. And I tell you, some of these faces, they will put you in a depressed state of mind. Own your own happiness and be responsible for doing those things that bring joy into your own heart independently of life and people and money and all of that stuff. Right. It doesn't necessarily give you a happiness. You have to take responsibility of that peace and that joy that lives inside of your heart and not inside of your stuff. Keep positive energy around you and that's how you're going to be happy. The next thing that is a key to self-motivation is that you've got to ask yourself, what do I want out of life? What do you want out of life? What do you want out of a job? What do you want out of a career? What do you want out of a relationship? What do you want? What gives you your life? What, how will you know when you got it? What will make you happy? You need to know, you need to start asking yourself some questions. What do I really, really, truly want? You need to be exact about that. Don't be vague. Oh, I just want to be happy. That's too vague. What will make you happy? How will you know when you got it? Zero in on it. Be exact. Be specific. And as you do that, that will stimulate that superconscious mind or the reticular activating system of your mind that will begin to find those things, to identify with it. So make the decision right now to believe that you create all of your experiences because you do. Let's start creating the ones you want by believing you can. Sounds a little strange, but accepting this level of responsibility is uniquely and inevitably empowering. It means you can do, change, and become anything at all. But you know what, when you're working that hard all day long, you need those little jokes with your friends. You need the lunchtime where you can sit down and chat. It's such a big part of your life. You have to own your own happiness. Uh, take it away from other people demanding that they make you happy. If you want to know how to decide if a career opportunity is a good one, there are several things you have to take into consideration. Number one, does it make your heart sing? The number one feedback system that you are given at birth is joy. If you're not experiencing joy as you, as you think about doing something and as you pursue doing it, then it's off course for you. And you will begin to see it reflect itself in all the dimensions of your life, your mental life, your physical life, your social life, in your relationships, your monetary life. So concentrate on developing yourself. Because if you don't, I guarantee you that you will make a settlement. And most people have. In addition to working on yourself, and as you work on yourself, you feel good about yourself. And as you feel better about yourself, you treat yourself differently. Develop a health plan. See, you can't feel well and do well if you don't have good health. You can't perform if you don't have your health. Your health is valuable. Develop a health plan, a plan that you will follow because this is the only vehicle that you have to carry you through this experience called life. It's take no less than 100% responsibility for your life. You know, one of the greatest myths that's pervasive in our culture today is that you're entitled to a great life and that somehow, somewhere, someone is responsible for filling our lives with continual happiness and exciting career options, a nurturing family and blissful personal relationships simply because we exist. But the real truth is that there's only one person responsible for the quality of your life, and that person is you. And we all been through great things, you know what I'm saying? It's just about I think my message now is for everybody to find happiness and joy. I've told you this um, years ago on the mm. show that I've been searching for happiness and joy, mm. even though I'm super blessed and we got life. The next thing is see yourself there. How will you feel once you get there? What will the experience be like for you? What will be different? 
What kind of person do you have to become in order to get there? Visualize yourself there, living the experience. You want to see yourself beyond your circumstances. You got a challenge, see yourself beyond your challenge. See yourself with the challenge already resolved. And knowing that all is well, seeing yourself in control and in charge of your destiny, being healthy and happy. Sometimes you can go and do an internship or you can work for a friend in their restaurant just to see if you like it because often the fantasy doesn't match the reality. And the other thing is to simply trust yourself. You know deep inside what's true for you. And if you'll take a few minutes and go inside, we call it meditation, and just ask and sit with the question and see what kind of feelings come up. Does this feel right? So do all the rational research, but then ultimately bring it back into your heart and decide does this feel good for me? And if it makes sense up here and it feels good, then step into it. Just lean into it and see what happens. Pursue it. No decision is forever. You can always change if it's not what you want. Like, like, like.